students in this video we are going to learn two more questions from polynomial if two zeros of the polynomial x cube minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 12 x cube that means it's a cubic polynomial so for cubic polynomial we have some condition for sum of the root product of the root everything if you know that condition we can find it very easily root 3 and minus root 3 are two zeros find the third zero is our question so let us assume alpha beta and gamma are three roots or roots of the given equation let us assume our roots of given polynomial let us assume it in this way then it will be very simple polynomial so the condition is sum of all the zeros that is alpha plus beta plus gamma it's always minus b by a then next condition product of sum of two roots taken at a time that is alpha beta beta gamma gamma alpha sum of product of two terms taken together that time the formula will become c by a then product of the roots alpha beta gamma will be minus d by a so this is a three condition for cubic polynomial then what is a b c means from the question the general form of a cubic equation is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d like this we have to consider now look at the equation x cube q coefficient nothing is given we have to consider as 1 so we can write it our question is x cube minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 12 now from here we let us equate the coefficient a value 1 and b value is minus 4 and c value is minus 3 and d value is plus 12 so we got all the answer we need to find only one more zero anything we can use it from this one from these three condition anything we can use but using the last one is very simple let us consider the last formula alone now now in the place of alpha is given as plus root 3 beta is minus root 3 so root 3 multiplied by minus root 3 gamma which is equal to minus d by a so d is 12 so minus d will be minus 12 by a value is 1 so root 3 into root 3, 3 root 3 into root 3 will become 3 so minus 3 gamma is equal to minus 12 we are getting minus 3 take it to the denominator so gamma is equal to minus 12 by minus 3 cancellation will give you 4 so gamma is equal to 4 so we can say that the third zero of the given polynomial is 4 only that is your correct answer we will move on to the next problem now find the zero of the polynomial or given question is root 3 x squared minus 8 x plus 4 root 3 is our question so normally for factorization that first number and the last number should be multiplied so multiplication root 3 into 4 root 3 so root 3 into root 3 is 3 4 3 is a 12 so we are getting 12 now we need to get the product as 12 addition as minus 8 so we have to take minus 6 minus 2 6 2 is a 12 when we are adding minus 8 also will be coming to you so here the question is all about root 3 so how to make the root 3 also let us decide here the 6 alone can be make it as root 3 because the 6 can be written as 2 3s are we can write this 3 can be written as 2 into root 3 into root 3 so it, this known so 6 can be written as 2 into root 3 into root 3 because root 3 into root 3 is 3 3 2s are 6 we can write so first we are going to make it as 12 can be make it into minus 6 into minus 2 so let us write it here so to do the factorization first term and last term should be taken as it is that's minus 8x alone will become minus 6x minus 2x we have to take then only it will be minus 8x that last term also we have to take an as it is now we have four terms from the first term we have to take the common term outside generally if you are looking 6 and root 3 there is nothing is visible but 6 can be written as 2 into root 3 into root 3 so inside this 6 we have 2 root 3 root 3 like that we have to think over it for these two root 3 is common x is also common take root 3 x outside here the remaining will be one more x and this minus sign here one root 3 we have taken outside the remaining is one more 2 and this root 3 so 2 root 3 is the remaining terms look at these two 2 and 4 2 is a common here we have minus so take the minus 2 outside the remaining will be x since we have taken the minus sign this plus will become minus now so from this 4 we have taken 2 outside remaining one more 2 this root 3 will be staying inside now now here we here we are getting x minus 2 root 3 x minus 2 root 3 take x minus 2 root 3 as a common term remaining root 3 x minus 2 
Now both should be equated to 0 to find the zeros. So x minus root 3 is equal to 0 is a one value. Another one is root 3 x minus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to plus 2 root 3 take it to another minus will become plus when we are taken to other side. Here root 3 x is equal to plus 2 minus 2 will become a plus 2 when we are taken to other side. Multiplication root 3 taken to other side it will become a division. So 2 by root 3 we have to write. So x is equal to 2 root 3 is one answer. The another one is 2 by root 3 we are getting. So x is equal to 2 root 3 and denominator if you are having root 3 that is not a standard form. So we can multiply and divide by root 3 now. So here 2 root 3 by root 3 into root 3 is 3. So we can write it 2 root 3 by 3 that is our correct answer. We are getting two solution for the quadratic equation. So and 2 root 3 and 2 root 3 by 3 is your correct solution. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel for more videos.